Hello, hello, and welcome back to Burrows. I'm gonna cough. <coughs> oh god. That's what I get for, like, eating a roll of crackers before... Uh, before hitting the record button. That's fine, that's fine. But, you know, we, we got finished with the point-and-click adventure. Wasn't that neat? I think that was neat. Confusing, but neat. Not confusing as in what I was doing, but confusing why it was there. But it was fun. Uh, she sh that he shakes my shoulders and points to the end of the hallway. Ooh, elevator. He shakes my oh right. <laughs> the uh, gleaming metal doors of the elevator meet our eyes. We did it. Uh, come on, before something. Why gotta be so loud though? That was the spookies, you know. A familiar sound, roar, a familiar sounding roar erupts from behind us, and my heart sinks. Oh, uh, that's that's cool. That's good. I like the number of CGs going on. I'm I'm, I'm appreciating. Oh fuck! Run! We break into a sprint. Oh, that looks loud on the levels here. Let me change that real quick. Hmm. I always forget how loud this game is whenever I record. We break into a sprint. <laughs> I don't bother looking back. It chases us on all fours, uh, shaking the floor with each step. Oh, well, this music's happening, isn't it? Oh, we just have to get to the elevator and close the doors. <laughs> That's our ticket to safety. It has to be. Mark ends up in front of me uh, yet again, and I struggle to keep up. Uh, what seems like a short distance becomes now uh, before now feels miles away. Oh, watch out! Huh? It dawns on me that the sound behind us has, excuse me, suddenly disappeared. I look up in horror and see it mid-leap, about to ch crash me. Crash me? Crush me. That's what that says. Ah! Wait, where's my mouse? Oh, fuck. Oh. My mouse? Okay. <laughs> was, was, you know. Okay. That's fine. Uh, we'll jump back. Sure. I stop running and let it sail past me, a landing between me and Mark. Gray! Shit, keep going! Fat chance. I hear a familiar crack and see the beast recoil in pain. Hey, it worked! But, yeah. Yankee Stadium? That's like, a, that's, that's a New York thing, right? Right? <laughs> Supposed to go is said you'd take me is is it speaking English? No Shut up. I hear another crack You don't know anything Mark uh, what are you doing just run? <laughs> its ears perk up and it spins around a black sludge running down its face. Uh oh It shrieks and I back away uh, trying to protect my ears you it raises an arm, ready to strike uh, strike dead center. Ah. Okay, this is this is awkward. Okay. I always like keep the mouse off the um game, you know, so you don't always like see me clicking and I go back to using the space bar. But it seems that it it does does thing. It's a, it's a little little odd. Here, we'll dodge side. Maybe I'll just have to start clicking. <laughs> rather than using the space bar. I try to gauge the timing and veer left. A confident, uh, confident I had dodged, I'm soon met with pain all over the right side of my body as its hands come down on my shoulder. Well, you know, it's fine. I fall to my knees and grip my body. Uh, my, arm, my other arm is completely numb. Uh, Gray, no! You piece of fucking shit! Everything is blurry, so this is what real pain feels like. Did I die? This is... It's so bad. I want to throw up. I can't focus on anything. It's somebody, please. Gray! Gray! Something is shaking me. Get up. I'm slapping my face. Good, good. Color comes back, then sound. M Mark? He lifts me up on... On his shoulder, a uh, grunting in pain. We're getting out of here alive, right? The blood rushes back uh, to my head, and suddenly I'm all right again. Right. 
the monster's hand is uh, stuck in the ground, and we use the opportunity to run past it. Our goal still in sight. If something feels off. Why isn't it pursuing us anymore? Suddenly, Mark zips past me, a flailing about backwards and a falling to the ground. What the? It's then that I feel it, and I'm pulled back at the as the edge of the carpet snags my foot. Snags my feet? Snags my feet. Okay. Even upside down, it's clear what happened. It used the carpet to give us the old uh, tug rug pull. Good. Uh, looking through my legs, I can see it gathering the uh, carpet as a fish, uh, like a fisherman, uh, pulling their catch onto shore. Uh, we try to escape, uh, but the constant jerking mo movement and a lack of any transaction. Wait, tran, transaction, track, traction. There's no end there. Okay, traction uh, makes it impossible to stand back up. Oh, fuck, we're so close. No, it can't end like this. I reach under him with both hands, uh, straining my muscles to flip him over the side. What are you doing? We have to. I ignore his protests and free him, uh, smiling sad. Yeah, smiling sadly as he zooms by. Gray. I center myself, only a few yards left between me and the beast. Mark's bat is still here. I have an option. Oh, I have options. I need to decide what to do. I hold the bat close to my body, ready for anything. I only have one chance. I have to wait. It uh, pulls me towards its body to in one tug, and I'm inches away from a, a gaping maw full of razor-sharp teeth. The creature watches me, waiting for my next move. Each slow, heavy breath, feeling like an hour as we uh, enter the stalemate. Come on, you filthy bastard! Its lips curl up, uh, barring canines the size of my head. Oh, that's exciting. I said, come on! A warning, warning? A growl reverberates through my uh, entire body. This is it. Do it! Strands of black ooze, a st what, stretch? Stretch and snap as it uh, rears back, ready to bite me in half. Now, I hold the bat out in front of me, straight up and down. The beast the grunts in confusion, getting a mouthful of uh, wood instead of flesh. Oh, this is roaring. He's not having a good time. <laughs> uh, the bat is jammed and, uh, deep in its mouth, simultaneously propping it open and keeping it from closing. <laughs> it uh, claws at its face in confusion, and I use the opportunity to turn tail, reuniting with Mark at the halfway point. What happened? What did you... I shut it up. Right. Come on, the elevator's close. It's right there. We're going to make it. We're actually going to make it. We jump into the elevator, a mark pivoting to mash the lobby button. The doors stall as the creature continues bounding towards us. Oh, okay. We got, we got, we got hurt. Okay. I wonder. <laughs> Is that because I did the wrong decision? Curious. Can can we can we get more battle damaged? Uh, Gray, is that a thing? Can we mess up more? Can he be missing an arm later? Can we get an eye patch? Can we be punished, Gray? This is what I want. <clears throat> no hurry, damn you! It's trying to uh, try to close button. Oh, those are just um what plat plat wait placebos. Is that what that word is? I hope so. I was not going to say, uh, <laughs> wait, no, I don't know what I was going to say. Uh, I think I was about to say place, boss. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, I'm, I'm glad I didn't confidently say that originally. I'm glad I stopped. <clears throat> they don't, they don't actually speed up the, fuck it. He slams on the button and the, uh, car, the car buzzes as the door starts to move. Uh, Virgil has a uh, real sick sense of humor. Shit! Oh shit! Uh, the monster is only a few paces away. It won't close. It won't close in time. Come on, close faster, you blasted machine! I grab him and press him against the furthest wall, uh, facing my body towards the beast. What the heck are you? I told you I'm getting you out of here, didn't I? Great, stop! 
I close my eyes, wondering if I'll get gored by its claws or uh, get my head bitten off. The door shuts. Okay. Uh, that brief sense of uh, relief is shattered as something slams against the car, sending a devastating shudder throughout the steel cage. <laughs> Leave us alone. I can hear it grunt as it backs up, ready to strike again. Why isn't the car moving down yet? Uh, did we get knocked out of the place? Yeah. Uh, hold on to something. Oh, hold on to something. Uh, okay. I duck down and wrap an arm around the handrail and my tail are around my waist. The room shakes with each step as it char cha charges uh, towards us a second time. A uh, Mark flattens himself against the wall opposite me, shaking in fear. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't... Yeah, that though? I love you. His words wash over me like a warm hug. I wonder how long he'd been waiting to say that. I wish I could have heard it while we while we still had time left. Okay. Everything freezes as the creature crashes into us a second time. Uh, my teeth slam against each other and I'm flung into the air. Uh, arc, wait, anchored only by the grip I have on my tail on the rail. A mark flies back, uh, hitting the ceiling before falling to the ground. <laughs> I hear a crunch and hope it, it's only his glasses. Uh, the metal door bend and bu bend and buckle. Yes, red light spilling through a tiny opening in the ceiling. Our safe zones have been breached. Uh, there's no recovering from this. He looks up at me, uh, panting and cringing in pain. Blood is trickling from his nose and onto his shirt. The taste of iron floods my mouth. Oh, we're, we're worse for wear, but still alive. Gray. He reaches out to me. I strain to uh, loosen my iron grip and uh, try to brush a finger against his. And then we're, free, we're in free fall. Oh, fuck. His voice is cut off by a sudden drop of, of soon gravity uh, loses all meaning. And soon gravity loses all meaning. That's what, okay. I feel the world fall out from under me before I hear it, uh, the awful churning of metal cables and gears loosening. The elevator is in freefall, uh, lights flicker on and off. Even in the brief moment of terror, my brain finds time to remember Mark's uh, hang, time hang, time? hang time claims back in the Empire State Building. He was more right than he knew. A sound straight out of hell deafens my left ear, and we s and we slam to the ground. All the wind is knocked out of me. Our descent grinds to a halt, the occasional creaking from below, a threatening to start the process all over again. I struggle to open my eyes, seeing Mark lying in front of me, and not moving a muscle. M Mark, are you? The elevator rumbles, and he shushes me. I'm all right. Uh, don't raise your voice again, okay? I understand now. Any slight movements or noise could cause us to fall even further. Are, are you really okay? I've been better. He plucks his glasses off the ground with uh, nimble fingers, accessing it, assessing any damage that might have been. I gently crane my neck to look at the uh, indicator above the door and see the needles sitting between a 9 and 10. Another fall from this height would certainly... I shake that thought away. Why? Why is any of this happening? What the fuck did I do? What did he do? Well, he did a lot, or at least like seemingly so. I want to scream, but I know doing uh, so would doom us both. It takes everything in me not to fucking lose it. Mark, I, I'm sorry I couldn't protect you. You must hate me for getting you wrapped up in all of this. He doesn't say anything for a while. I hear him shuffle to get closer to me, freezing every time the floor creaks under us. Mark? He stop, but he stops just short of my muzzle, his breath ragged. I don't hate you. Huh? From how you put it, uh, this was going to happen one way or another. I'm just glad I won't be alone when I... I nod. We both know what's coming. I never told you, but... I choke on my words. Before we met, I was going to kill myself. I had it all planned out. 
Why? Because of that girl you were being forced to... No. Uh, that was just the push I needed. The truth is, I had come to terms with uh, never finding someone to love. You... Uh, you don't know the real me. I'm a terrible friend, a cheat, a bum. Meeting you and getting to start fresh. <laughs> getting to see what things could be like if I don't have to keep running from my past. I felt hope for the first time in so long. Huh. <laughs> that wasn't a joke. He carefully leans into me, uh, looking deep into my eyes. I know. It's just funny how life works. I was in the same boat. Whatever you want to call it, you saved me. Maybe I ended up saving you in the process. I, uh, what, I laugh at his uh, nose. We saved each other. Up until now, at least. He chuckles and, shru and shrugs. We did our best. A tear drips down his nose and I kiss it away. Yeah, we did. There's no point in uh, wishful uh, thinking anymore. I just want to enjoy my last moments with him. Oh, good, good. I push his uh, snoot down with my chin so I can give him a proper kiss. He doesn't resist, his cold lips pressing against mine. Everything else melts away. All my pain, all my bad memories, all my mistakes. I never stopped making mistakes, up until the end, I made I make peace with that fact. He accepts me, all of me. Every part of him makes me shiver in delight. I'm sorry. Why? He pulls back, shaking his head. This whole thing is my fault, right? You followed me here. No, I wanted to. Really? Really. I I love you too. Gray. He starts sobbing and kisses me again. You're going to kill this old man before this elevator can. Ha! Huh. If that's how it has to be. Our kiss turns more passionate. We shift our bodies an inch at a time until I'm sitting up with his leaning against me. Uh, even on his knees, he's a full head taller than me. <laughs> that long canine tongue reaches, uh, reaching mine against all odds. I've never felt this uh, euphoric with another man before. It feels like we can finally let go of everything. All pretenses has been dropped, all our baggage lifted away. We're just two wounded animals trying to rid the other of their sickness by eating away the infected parts. The warm glow in my... What? The warm glow in my uh, pocket starts up again, uh, but I don't want to stop and check it. I want to stay like this for as long as possible. Mark breaks away from my lips and starts moving down my uh, neck, making my whole body tingle. You're... you're hungry today. He doesn't reply, I'm moving down to my collarbone and kissing down the length of my torso. Mark? I pull myself up and lean against the wall. He uh, stays on his knees. Mark! Huh? He starts undoing my pants. If it has to end the... to be the end, uh, let's go out with a bang. I want to con- what? I want to uh, consummate our feelings. Oh, note the following sex scene is not optional for the sake of the narrative. Maybe you would like to skip to the end of the scene. Well, I guess we're cutting here, everyone. You know how YouTube is. See you after the, the edit, I guess. Oh shit, well that makes it easier. <laughs> Didn't actually have to do that? Amazing. I was, uh, I was already thinking about, like, making time to render this out. And then they just say we're gonna skip it anyway. Well, less editing for me, I guess. That's kind of nice. Is what it is. Well, we're basically at the 20 minute mark anyway. We'll just end the part here, everyone. So I guess I'll see you around.